Hello everyone, ebomb113 here with another custom creation. This is my MREV, or MREV, which stands for Mobile Research and Exploration Vehicle. So I was able to get a um, an extra uh, Mega Constructs Pro Builder like Martian rover on sale at Toys R Us, uh, when Toys R Us was still around. Uh, as of the recording of this video, they officially closed about 10 days ago. But, uh, so I got this on one of the final days, um, of them getting to sell, or, you know, you know, liquidating their stock. So, um, and then I had a few interceptor parts left over from my Cabal, uh, mortar tank. So, um, yeah, I had plenty of white parts, and I, I didn't want to just make, like, another truck. Um, I wanted to make, like, a, kind of like a mobile research and exploration vehicle. So the other one's more for, like, cargo and digging, and this one's more for, like, studying the samples um, studying the samples sorry lost train of thought there so I guess I'll show you all the set uh, the first thing I did is I just modified one little um, I think it was like a drill originally so I just made it kind of like a um, just an extra tool or a mining uh, drone I guess and I'm added like a tool from a Borg um, from the Mega Constructs Heroes line or the Star Trek Borg, if you all know what I'm talking about. So, it can be like a laser drill, or it can just be like fine, you know, you know, a laser for like fine cutting. So, that's pretty much it for that one. Then, the actual build itself, um, it's pretty bulky actually. Um, I was pre I'm pretty satisfied with it. It does look kind of funky in some areas, but it is a space exploration vehicle. So, um, yeah, it's going to look a little funky. But, uh, I kept. It was really interesting trying to meld the front part with you know, my own creation. So I had to Frankenstein, as I call it, quite a bit. Um, just kind of go along with the directions and then try to improvise the best I can. But there's a ladder to get up to the satellite and the antenna array. Um, then there's like a little extra storage piece right there. I think that's from the one of the communication containers from the Call of Duty line. Um, the back still has its ramp. Um, just a little more filled this time, so it's easier to move cargo up and down. Alright, so I'll show you all what that looks like. And then this opens up, and that opens up. And you can see the inside of it. But I'll get back to I'll finish up with the outside first. So that goes back. And this side, um, I just left some clips for, like, tools. I didn't really have anything else, so I just left it open. And then, um, here's, like, your oxygen supply. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I think originally that build was on the back of the cab, but I ended up ended up just putting it right here. So I'll show you all the top. The top does come off as so, and you can see the inside a little bit. So I don't know if you all can tell what's going on in there, but uh, I have like a little um, laboratory set up. So there's space for, I'll show you on the other side too. So there's space to put your oxygen tanks, um, some supplies, some tools. I put some Borg drones in there, just kind of act like androids. So I don't know if you all are familiar with Alien franchise or the Blade or Blade Runner franchises, but they have like androids or fake people or you know like artificial intelligence. And um, so I include them as kind of like just workers. Um, I really don't care for the Borg and Star Trek all that much, but um, I got a few on sale at Walmart. And um, I just thought they'd make good, like, basic androids. But he got a guy in there studying. I um, guess I can take him out for now. I, um, he has the same head mold as the Borg drone, so I just <laughs> gave him, like, a little stethoscope attached to his head. And he's got a tool there, so he's, you know, he's kind of experimenting on the, um, the samples that the digging team found with the other, with the, uh, the actual rover. Um, like I said, the cabin's still the same. Or the front driving cabin, still all the same. So you got three seats, you got the driver. Um, all the front's pretty much the same. I just pretty much added a back to it. And then I left that open and through there just for, um, you know, just in case you want to add some lights or something. But that pretty much does it for now. So, like I said, it's just kind of um, last minute buy. I thought I could use it for something. Um, I might paint it and add it in like an alien mock or something. So it could be something from the alien 
franchise. Um, I really hope we get some alien vehicles at some point. Um, just from the films, it'd be cool to see Mega Bloks kind of do maybe do some like Pro Builder, or, since they have the alien frame, the alien line. Um, they can make some sets for them, some actual like buildable sets rather than just characters. So um, I think that pretty much does it for this review. Tell me what you all think in the comments below, and I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching.